So it's been 16 years since I installed these photovoltaic arrays behind me. It's a four kilowatt system. And I thought it'd be interesting to take a look and see how production is today versus then. If you'd like to find out, stay tuned. So it was 16 years ago that I installed our photovoltaic PV system. That's not Polar Vortex, by the way, that's our cat's name. That stands for something completely different. But it was a while ago, and I thought it would be interesting to take a look and see what our solar production is like nowadays compared to 16 years ago, because one of the things that's often discussed about is that over time your solar panels will lose some of its power efficiency. And uh, so I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at the stats on these panels to find out specifically how much they've lost over 16 years. The NREL, the National Renewable Energy Lab, uh, stated that panels that were produced before the year 2000 we're typically losing anywhere between a half and 1% per year of production. But after that, efficiencies uh, became better and the life expectancy became better on these solar panels. And they predicted that maybe up to 0.4% per year might be the loss. And looking over the stats on this, we had a completely sunny day a few days ago. I can concur with what they say. Um, it appears that we've lost maybe 0.4 percent per year so we're at uh, 16 year mark and we're at about 94 percent of the power production that we had in year one of these panels so definitely not too bad uh, considering that it's uh, that far into the life of these panels and I suspect that these panels will produce meaningful power uh, you know well into year 25, which is what the warranty is rated for, and beyond. So that brings up another point. And the other reason why I thought I'd do a, a video today is that, um, you know, things have changed over the years as far as the amount of electrical usage that we have in our house. We added an air conditioner a few years ago due to extreme humidity and heat, which was causing our um, kitchen cabinets to warp and break apart because there was so much humidity in the house. So I broke down and we invested in air conditioning. And then the most, probably the largest add-on to our electrical consumption was the switch to electric vehicles. Uh, Joe has a totally electric Nissan Leaf and I have a hybrid Chevy Volt, which is electric and a gas generator backup. And so between the two of us, we basically blew our net zero stats out of the water and we're not even close to breaking even with our electrical consumption versus production. We did also add over the years um, six units with MI Energy. They have a solar garden in Rushford, Minnesota, so that we are getting a couple kilowatts extra from their array. But we're still not there yet as far as getting to net zero. So I started investigating uh, what it would take to get us to net zero, and we probably need roughly a 6K system to get us back to net zero. And you may say, well, why is it so important to get to net zero? And for me personally, the reason why is I'm trying to offset our carbon footprint. And especially with renewable energy, you know, we can get ourselves to a point where we're close to being neutral as far as the amount of energy we consume and use as far as fossil fuels, which is important to me because I do believe in climate change and I do believe that we are causing it. So this is my own take on things and basically I want to feel good about myself, to be honest, and make sure that we're doing something good for the environment. So that's really the whole reason behind this. I am not really into it from a, a money perspective. Uh, payback should be about 10 to 12 years, 
which isn't too bad. The price of solar, of course, over 16 years has come way down. And uh, this system here I installed myself, and the, the new system I'm going to install, I'm going to have someone do it professionally. The, the rules have changed a lot in, uh, in the installation and the whole process, and I'd rather have someone do it that's been doing it for our county. So we're going to be using Viking Electric um, to actually do the installation. And as things go, I'm hoping that maybe by the end of April, maybe in the May time frame, we'll be adding another 6KW, which will be just in time for the main uh, electrical production season as far as solar in Minnesota. So that's kind of the direction we're going in, and I wanted to bring everyone up to date on Day Creek as to uh, how we're doing and what we're doing. So that's it for today. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee or an iced tea, there's a link below telling you how to do that. So thanks for watching, take care, and we'll catch you on the next journal entry.